<laughs> well, for all things technology in China, including artificial intelligence, CGTN's Mark New spoke with Cece Song. She is the president of Silicon Valley investment firm Bessemer Venture Partners, and she is also on Forbes 30 Under 30 list for Asia. She began by talking about China's aim to become technologically self-sufficient. A lot of people, by reading kind of the media headlines, um, are fearful about China's uh, self-reliance, um, become more self-reliance, especially on technology. But I think, you know, um, that is not uh, the the full picture. I think that China um, China's growth strategy going forward in complete um, terms is called what we call here dual circulation, where China on one hand uh, boosts the growth um, in domestic market, but at the same time synergize that with continued openness um, to the rest of the world. Um, as a matter of the fact, China's uh, foreign trade actually hit um, six trillion. Uh, in 2020, which is a historical high, meaning that, you know, for China, like they were not, were never cut ties with the rest of the world. Um, so dual circulation is kind of uh, the main focus out of the two sessions. Um, and in terms of kind of China are moving towards a more self-reliant uh, economy uh, with technology, um, I think the impact is not just on the U.S., but also on the uh, global uh, I think as a result, uh, we will see more and more innovative technology and um, business models coming out of China because of that. What areas of tech innovation do you think China is really leading the world in? I think China, you know, it's it's known to be good at in kind of some of the consum consumer sections, uh, such as e-commerce. So, I got asked all the times about like different e-commerce innovations in China from like live streaming to discovery based e-commerce to cross border e-commerce. So that's like what China has always been uh, very strong at. And I do feel like the fact that China is very uh, become more assertive uh, to be more self-reliant on technology. I do see government are pulling billions of dollars into areas like AI and also quantum computing and also robotics. And I think China is really catching up on those uh, areas as well. At two sessions, there was an acknowledgement that the chat GPT AI chatbot tech developed in the United States is clearly far ahead of any other country. Are we likely to see similar tech homegrown out of China anytime soon? I think it's already happening. Um, I, chat GPT or AI is also a heated topic in China domestically. And, you know, Baidu, Tencent, uh, Alibaba, they are, they are all announcing their own kind of chat GPT model and also managed service to support that. And I think that they are, it is important uh, for uh, Chinese companies to kind of develop their own. Some of the uh, fine tuning need to be applied to Chinese language. And I think that is something, uh, that is one thing that uh, Chinese companies can really help improve. I think that's one second, you know, there are still application and managed services required on top of kind of an open source model, model uh, that is better catered to Chinese use cases. Um, so that's, I think that's also where Chinese companies can be really value added on top of um, developing their own kind of uh, AI uh, large language model.